I get asked all the time, do all of you sleep in that? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I fit uh, that, that, and that, this, into that. I'm Chris. This is Adventure Dogs. Good morning. Before we get down to business, morning swim time and here we go again so I figured I'd show you how I make things easier for the dogs and then I'll bring them in because they're still wet from swimming blankets I started off with really uh, lightweight microfiber sheets the problem with those they were so lightweight they would twist and wrap me up so I got slightly heavier, again, microfiber sheets. I think, well, because they were cheap, but I think if I was going to buy more or buy them again, I would buy um, like heavier cotton sheets. And then I just use one of the old, it's really gungy, but an old comforter from my, from my bed, more just for the weight so much than the heat. I have these two blankets, two packable blankets. This one is by Black Diamond. This one is by Pacific Crest. I far prefer this one. It's lighter, it's warmer, it packs down smaller. Used to be able to buy it from Costco, can't anymore. So if you want to manufacture a business and you want your competitors to go out of business, get me to like their product, the competitor's products, and then they'll go under. It's pretty much guaranteed. Unless you want me to sponsor, unless you want to sponsor this video or something, because then you're awesome and you'll stay in business forever. This blanket has a smooth side and a textured side. I don't like it as much as this one, but it is really good still because it has a little bit more weight to it. I like Leo because he is an older fella. He is. 11 and almost a half, he has a very fine coat because he's a Boston Terrier and he has 0% body fat because he's, that's just how he is. He likes to nest and he does this at home too with blankets. He likes to nest and, and all that. So this gives him the ability to nest. It gives him, it keeps him warm and it helps him to self-regulate his heat. Lily likes to burrow. So she tends to go for this. Leo tends to go for that. Um, if it's colder, yeah, you can make your appearance later. If it's colder, I do have other blankets in the car. They're just heavier microfiber fleece ones. And then if it gets even colder, Leo has his, what I call his smoking jacket or his lounge jacket, because it's, it just looks like that. And it's, it's fleece. It's very soft and it's warm. And he actually likes having it put on. Airflow and heat control in here is actually very difficult. And I know that the tendency would just be to keep everything shut. The problem is when you have three dogs and a human, if you don't have adequate airflow, I know some manufacturers will tell you, oh, we're so airtight, you'll die. I don't, I don't buy that, but you will have a boatload of condensation and there have been some times that I've woken up in the morning and I mean, never mind like the windows, like these windows just dripping moisture, but sometimes even the walls. So in and of itself, that's not a big deal until it sits into the mattress, sits into the wood, you can get mold and all that. So uh, I, as soon as we get to anywhere, I open up the vent as far as I can 
weather permitting and then I'll open up one at least one of the the windows and then you get your airflow it's easier to warm up than it is to cool off so just kind of keep that in mind all my clothes I keep in a bin and then it just slides under here for me it's perfect uh, I used to keep them in a backpack but then I got worried that if someone were to break in they would just see a backpack and take it this way they can see it's not worth taking unless they want some sweet ass t-shirts sweet ass made this one myself and then my socks and unmentionables go up in here separate I'm thinking that I might try and find bigger ones of these and put them up here to keep my clothes so like maybe one for shirts one for pants and then free up this space the space underneath uh, the shelf here King and Leo especially like to kind of den under there so that's nice for them but I mean my feet don't take up a lot of space because I tend to curl up and then this doesn't take up a huge amount of space so it's not a huge deal but it would just it would give them a little bit more space so the curtains the curtains are they're, they're not exactly solid like they're they're semi sheer I would say so you can kind of see out and I know that some people don't like that and at first I didn't like that either but it gives me the ability when the lights are out in here I can see out and it's not like I wouldn't be able to ID anyone if something were to happen but I can at least see a shape or something like that so people outside if they're walking by or if they're malingering they don't know that I can see them and for me that's just a little bit of peace of mind I don't have to do the whoo and say hey I'm awake but I can I can still see what's going on and then I don't so when I bought this because I bought it second hand there was velcro here to you know stick the curtains to and initially I was going to do that as well but by not securing the the curtains down the dogs have the ability to peek their heads around and for me that works out well because they'll hear footsteps or they'll hear voices or they'll see the, the light of a flashlight and they'll bark until they look around and then they'll go oh it's a person it also means that if someone is scoping us out they know that I am not playing some YouTube video I actually have a dog in here and several because it's quite distinctive the parks and you know if you were if you had you know nefarious intentions and you saw meathead poking his you know giant around a curtain I think that you would think twice before trying to uh, trying anything you know untoward big thing for me with the dogs is consistency of training and especially as far as thresholds they do not cross a threshold until I tell them to so I mean I wouldn't open up the door and then walk away and go make myself my coffee and expect them to be inside but it allows me the opportunity to gather up their leashes leash the ones who need to be leashed King especially Lily as well Leo not so much except he's mostly blind so the last thing I want is him doing you know scampering out into traffic or something but it's the same thing with the car and we practice that every single time I never open up the door and then pile out I'll open up the door wait and then I'll say okay you know whoever you come out whoever you come out and then whoever you come out um, and that way I don't have as much of a concern about them just barreling out the second the door is open which I mean I I can't be the only person who's seen a dog and had their heart stop as the dog is running through a parking lot with the owner frantically you know chasing after them especially with other dogs around my my pups with their you know dislike of anything else canine so here we are we do all sleep together right mr. man and as you can see he likes to sleep across the trailer up, up, and then we've got Leo. you can see he's 
nesting a little bit and deading. There we go. And he wants to burrow. There we go. And not much room for me. But the view is pretty okay. Oh my goodness, I can't see what I'm doing, which is really, hey, no, no, nothing. <laughs> Never know what I'm doing. This is one of the few times I want to see what I'm doing, right? This is one of the times I want to see what I'm doing. I have all my notes actually written on here. I'm cheating. <laughs> Let's try that again. 